We're talking about the brain. We'll move on to the diencephalon, mesencephalon, metencephalon, and myelencephalon. So uh, to see the diencephalon, we'll have to separate along the longitudinal fissure. And let's look at this half here. The first thing we'll locate is number 19. So it's the thalamus. You see it here. It's actually this big chunk here. It's the majority of this chunk that you see here. Mm -hmm. Thalamus. I don't know if this is significant, but number 20 is the hypothalamic sulcus. Yeah. You see this ridge? Underneath. <laughs> and 21 is here, you see in the bottom right hand corner, that is the hypothalamus. And. Oh, yes. It's not. Oh, it's not. It's not. Focusing. Um, yeah, I don't know why. Let's see. Oh, it's not focusing, so let's point. Okay. <laughs> Hypothalamus. Okay. And connected to the hypothalamus is this very fragile piece here, it's the infundibulum, which connects the hypothalamus to the pituitary gland. Mm. All right. Let's see. Okay. We'll move back to the thalamus. Doesn't mention it here, but if you see here, this is the epithalamus actually. The and top. epithalamus comprises of this, which actually, I'm sorry, comprises of this outside number 23, three, and that's the pineal gland. All right, so let's move on from the thalamus. I'm gonna look at some boobs. <laughs> All right, if you look under here, this is the anterior, an anterior view. And we'll look under here. Kind of cool to see. Is this bump here coming out? Right there. Number 24, that is the this left side of the brain. So this is the left mammillary body. Okay. It's kind of under that, um... Under the thalamus. Under the thalamus, thalamus yeah. Close to the infundibulum and all that. Okie dokie. Um, yeah, choroid plexus. I don't know if we mentioned that. Oh, we probably didn't. Choroid plexus. Choroid plexus means braid of blood ve blood vessels. Yes. Like organization. Of, mm -hmm. yeah. And you'll find them on the lining of ventricles. Probably this one belongs to the first and second. The lateral. Okay. We'll move on. Okay, let's go to the brainstem. You can see this ridge going down from the thalamus down here. That is the aqueduct of midbrain, also known as cerebral aqueduct. And then we'll move on to the metencephalon. We're going to start with the, this little attachment here the cerebellum. Stark thing here. Do we do the peduncles? Oh, wait, we'll do the peduncles first. Never mind. Go back to the brainstem. I think we'll have to take out the brainstem to see this actually. All right. You see under this, under the insula, if you look at this number 33, it has vertical lines going down it. That is the cerebral peduncles. Okay. Okay. Now we will move on to the cerebellum. Cerebellum has these folds. I don't think it mentions it on this. These folds are called folia. Pretty deep grooves. And one thing we need to know from the cerebellum is this region here. These fibers. I think they're created by myelinated cells, I believe. Mm -hmm. That's what gives it the white color, and it's called arbor vitae. Tree of life. Mm -hmm. I don't know if we can locate the fourth ventricle. Somewhere here. <laughs> okay. We'll move on to the pons, another portion of the metencephalon. Pons. So good to locate because it looks like it's kind of wrapped, the wrapped portion of the lollipop it is under the peduncles. The number with that is number 36. 
so ponds and some other peduncles are on the ponds C36F that's the superior cerebellar peduncle G is the middle cerebellar peduncle and H is the inferior cerebellar peduncle <laughs> that's possible okay and we'll move on to the myelencephalon, which basically comprises of the medulla oblongata. Number 37, all the way at the tip. Medulla oblongata. Near that, we have an olive. If you see this little thing, circular thing, kind of looks like an olive. It's number 38, an inferior olive. 39. Right here, the pyramid. Right on top of the medulla. Mm -hmm. And yeah, I think that's it. Okay. And the first cervical nerve is right next to the medulla. It's right there. But we'll be talking about it in the next video.